Ever felt like your wallet has a hole in it? Money just seems to slip away as quickly as sand through your fingers. You check your bank account at the beginning of the month and think, this time, I'm going to save. But then, before you know it, the month ends, and you're left wondering where all your money went. It's like playing a never-ending game of financial hide-and-seek, and let's be honest, it's not fun being it all the time. We've all been there, right? Unexpected expenses popping up out of nowhere, that irresistible sale at your favorite store, or maybe it's just the everyday costs of living that seem to drain your bank account faster than you can say budget. It's a common struggle, managing personal finances effectively. But guess what? We're not here to wallow in financial despair. Oh no! We're here to arm ourselves with knowledge, strategies, and a dash of wit to tackle this money game head on. Today's mission, should you choose to accept it, is to explore the myriad ways to manage your personal finances. We're talking about budgeting, but not the old school pen and paper kind. We're diving into the world of automated finance, where robots help us save and invest. We're venturing into the realm of investing for growth, where your money works harder than you do. And we're not stopping there. We're going beyond the numbers to talk about mindset shifts for success and adapting strategies to fit your unique world. So if you're tired of feeling like a financial magician, making your money disappear, stick around. You might just pick up some tips to turn your financial game around. And who knows, by the end of this you might even start looking forward to checking your bank account. Now wouldn't that be a plot twist? Ever tried to reach a destination without a map or GPS? That's what spending without a budget is like. It's like driving blindfolded. You're likely to hit something and it's probably going to hurt your wallet. Think of traditional budgeting as your financial GPS. It guides you on the path to your financial goals by tracking your income and expenses. You get to see where your money is going, and you can set limits on spending, just like setting a speed limit for your car. Now I know what you're thinking. Budgeting? That sounds like a lot of work. Well, it doesn't have to be. There are popular methods out there that make budgeting simple. Ever heard of the 50-30-20 rule? It's a budgeting rule of thumb where you allocate 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. Easy, right? And if you're thinking, I'm not good with numbers, don't worry, there's a solution for that too. Welcome to the era of budgeting apps. These tools don't just simplify the process, they pretty much do all the heavy lifting for you. They track your spending, help you set limits, and even give you a nudge when you're about to overspend. It's like having a financial co-pilot. So, with budgeting, you're less likely to end up financially lost. It's like having a GPS for your money. You know where you're going, how to get there, and if you take a wrong turn, it's easy to get back on track. Now isn't that a trip you'd like to take? Now if you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to continue on this journey to financial wellness, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us create more content like this. Thank you for watching. Remember the Jetsons and their robot made Rosie? Well, we might not have Rosie, but we do have finance bots. Yes, you heard that right. We're living in an age where robots can help us manage our money. And no, they won't judge you for that midnight online shopping spree. Now, what exactly does automated finance mean? Well, it's pretty much like it sounds. It's setting up systems to automatically manage your financial tasks like saving, paying bills, and even investing. It's like setting your finances on cruise control. Imagine this, it's the end of the month. You're sitting back, sipping your favorite beverage, and instead of panicking about paying bills or transferring money into savings, you're chilling. Why? Because you've got your finance bots handling it for you. It's as if you've hired a personal finance assistant but without having to make awkward small talk at the water cooler. And the best part? Automated finance can minimize human error. Ever forgot to pay a bill on time or promised yourself you'd transfer money to savings but then, well, didn't? We've all been there. But with automated finance, these tasks are done for you consistently and accurately. Now let's talk about investments. Ever felt overwhelmed by the thought of managing an investment portfolio? Enter robo-advisors. These are automated investment platforms that use algorithms to manage and balance your investments. They're designed to optimize your returns while keeping in line with your risk tolerance. It's like having a Wall Street expert in your pocket, without the Wall Street jargon. In a nutshell, automated finance can be a game changer. It can help you stay on top of your financial tasks, minimize errors and even optimize your investments, all with minimal effort on your part. So, let the bots handle your money. It's like having a personal finance assistant minus the small talk. Ever wish your money could multiply like rabbits? Well, investing might just be your magic carrot. 
You see, when it comes to managing personal finances, investing plays a crucial role. It's kind of like planting a seed and watching it grow over time. Only in this case, the seed is your hard-earned cash, and the growth? That's your future financial security. Investing is essential for achieving long-term goals. Whether you're dreaming of a comfortable retirement, buying that dream house or even leaving a legacy for your kids, investing can help you get there. It's all about putting your money to work so that over time, it grows into a more substantial sum. It's not about instant gratification, but rather, delayed satisfaction. Now you might be thinking, investing sounds risky, what if I lose all my money? That's where the concept of diversification comes in. Diversification is essentially not putting all your eggs in one basket. By spreading your investments across different asset classes like stocks, bonds, and real estate, you can balance risk and reward. It's kind of like having a safety net. If one investment doesn't pan out, others might just save the day. So, where do you start? Well, there are plenty of beginner-friendly options out there. For instance, low-cost index funds or exchange-traded funds, also known as ETFs, are a great place to start. They offer diversification, are easy to understand, and come with lower fees than other investment options. Remember, the goal here is not to become the next Wall Street whiz overnight, but to start building your financial future step by step. So, start planting those money seeds today and watch your financial garden grow. Ever heard the saying, it's not about the money, it's about the mindset? Well, when it comes to personal finance, that's half the battle. The way we view money, how we think about it, influences our financial decisions significantly. It's not just about knowing how to budget or where to invest, it's about understanding the value of money and what it can do for you. Financial literacy is a key factor in this equation. It's about knowing how money works in the world, how someone makes it, manages it, invests it, and donates it to help others. More importantly, it's about using that knowledge to make informed decisions about your own finances. But knowledge alone isn't enough. You also need to set realistic financial goals, whether it's saving for a down payment on a house, planning for retirement, or building an emergency fund, having clear attainable goals can help guide your financial decisions and motivate you to stick to your plan. And let's not forget about the power of a positive money mindset. Cultivating a healthy relationship with money, viewing it as a tool rather than a source of stress or anxiety, can make a world of difference. There are resources out there like financial therapy or coaching that can help you develop this mindset. So, remember, managing your money starts with managing your mindset. Personal finance is just that, personal. What works for Warren Buffett might not work for you, it's like finding the perfect pair of jeans. You gotta try a few on, do a little dance, see what fits and flatters your unique shape. Same goes for your money strategies. Sure there are some universal principles like spend less than you earn or save for a rainy day. But the specifics, those depend on your income, your debts, your goals, and yes, your dreams. Maybe you're a risk taker, ready to dive into the stock market, or perhaps you're more of a slow and steady, stick to the budget type. The key is to find what works for you and stick to it, tweaking as necessary. And remember, you're not alone in this. There's a world of resources out there, from financial advisors to online communities, all ready to provide personalized guidance. So don't be shy, reach out, ask questions, share your successes, and even your failures. After all, we learn from those too. So, make your money work for you, not the other way around. So, we've taken a whirlwind tour of personal finance land. Feeling less lost? We've navigated through the wild jungles of traditional budgeting, where tracking your income and expenses, setting spending limits, and analyzing spending patterns are your best survival tools. We've learned about popular methods like the 50-30-20 rule and zero-based budgeting, and how budgeting apps and technology tools are like your GPS in this terrain. We've also set sail on the seas of automated finance. We learned that automating savings, bill payments, and investments can be a life raft in the stormy waters of financial management. We've discovered that robo-advisors and automated investment platforms can help steer us towards our financial goals. And who could forget our hike up the mountain of investing for growth? We learned the importance of diversifying our financial portfolio and how different asset classes are like the different paths leading up to the peak of financial security. Along the way, we also discovered that low-cost index funds or ETFs can be the perfect climbing gear for beginners. But remember, your journey through personal finance land isn't just about numbers and strategies, it's also about your mindset. It's financial literacy, setting realistic goals, avoiding the pitfalls of comparison, and celebrating every small win along the way. And when things get tough, 
Remember that resources like financial therapy or coaching can be your guide. Your journey also needs to be personalized. Your income, debts, and goals are unique to you, so your financial strategy should be too. Don't be afraid to research, experiment, and adjust your strategies as needed. And remember, resources like financial advisors or online communities can be your compass in this journey. Remember, your financial journey is unique to you. So go out there, experiment, learn, and conquer your personal finance world. And of course, don't forget to share your financial wins and woes in the comments below. We're all in this together after all. If this information was helpful, and you want to continue exploring the world of personal finance with us, please give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Join us, as we journey through financial wilderness together.